G'day YouTubers, Devil's Prodigy here, bringing you another battle report. Uh, this time it's uh, Warriors of Chaos versus Dwarves, 2,000 points. We rolled off in the battle and we got Meeting Engagement, which is the diagonal battle. Uh, and you, you're about tw uh, 12 inches apart if you choose to be. And um, yeah, yeah, let's see how we go. I'll quickly go into the armies now. Okay, snaps Dwarf Army first. He's got a Rune Lord with a Rune of Balance, Spell Breaking and a Shield, and he's on the Anvil of Doom. Then he's got a, a Thane, which is his BSB. He's got a Shield and the Rune of Grummel, Cleaving, Challenge and Fire. And he's got two lots of 30 Warriors, one lot with Shields, and the other lot is Longbeards with Great Weapons. The Warriors with Shields, they've been... Uh, <laughs> They've, they're a bit late to the battle, so they're in reserves. Then he's got uh, 12 Thunderers with shields, 14 Hammerers, and that is the unit that the uh, the Thane is in. Then he's got a Cannon, which is also in reserves, a Grudge Thrower, which is also in reserves as well, and an Organ Gun. Okay, over to my Warriors of Chaos Army. I've firstly got five Chaos Warhounds there. Then I've got another unit of five Chaos Warhounds. The unit behind is a Chaos Sorcerer Lord who has the Talisman of Preservation and the Mark of Tzinch. He's accompanied with uh, 17 Chaos Warriors with the Mark of Tzinch as well. And an Exalted Hero with the same mark and he's my Battle Standard Bearer. Then I've also got a Chaos War Shrine. No marks or anything like that. Then we go down to five Chaos Knights with Mark of Corn and Ensorcelled Weapons. And I've also got a Chaos Dwarf Hell, Hell Cannon. Also, I have a unit which contains Festus Leech Lord and 17 Chaos Warriors and Urgle, but unfortunately they're in reserves as well. So it's going to be pretty interesting because I was really re relying on the two blocks of Chaos Warriors being in that... That's at right at the start, getting ready, because I'm going to get across the table really quickly, because he's got a very shooting army. And also, for people who have been following my painting challenge, my, my uh, Savage Orcs have made it to the battle, and they're, they're overseeing how, how the Chaos Warriors go, and, and uh, hopefully the Chaos Warriors can show them how to do the job right. Alright, we'll go into turn one. Before we get into turn one, quickly my magic. Uh, Festus has Miasma of Pestilence and Blades of Putrefaction, and the Sorcerer Lord has Bolt of Change, Glean Magic, Desinches, Firestorm, and Infernal Gateway. So the Dwarf Reserves come on, uh, his Warriors, Grudge Strower, and Cannon make it onto the battlefield. Then there's no movement for the Dwarfs, so straight into shooting, and the Anvil of Doom casts um, Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Um, but it actually failed on the roll of a, a 1, so nothing happened. Then we go into my uh, turn 1. I basically move everything forward. Uh, also, my Festus and Nurgle Warriors make it onto the battlefield as well. Then I roll for Winds of Magic, and I only get a 4. So... It's not looking good for magic. And then Snap informs me his Rune Lord gets an extra 2 to spell dice. His Anvil... Gets, gives him an extra one doom dice as uh, a spell dice, and then he has the master rune, which is a minus one to spell dice to me and a plus one to him. So now I have three, and he has seven to spell dice. So no magic gets cast. And lastly, my cannon fires and kills two uh, of the the doom uh, anvil of doom uh, warriors. So, but um, I only got. I nearly killed the Rune Lord, but um, yeah, missed by one word. So, on to turn two. Turn two to Orbs. His Thunderers shoot at my Warhounds in the middle and kill two. His Organ Gun fires at the remaining uh, Warhounds and absolutely obliterates them. His Grudge Thrower this, then misfires, but he rolls a six so he can... Um, he can shoot next turn, and his cannon fires at his, my knights, and he kills one. I then uh, move forward again, trying to get really close. I roll for the Winds of Magic, and this time I get three. Fantastic! So everything gets dispelled again. My cannon misses, and that is pretty much all that happened for turn two. 
So for the end, the end here, you can see, uh, it, of course, there's my cannon. Um, not much else. Everything else is just getting closer. I'm getting my Chaos Knights close to, st to charge that cannon the next turn. Uh, moving up the centre there. Hopefully, maybe be able to charge next turn if he moves, but we're just going to wait and see, and I'm getting ready to move the rest of my guys up. Okay, over to turn three. Turn three starts, no movement from the dwarves, so he goes straight to shooting. The cannon shoots at the Chaos Warriors with the Sorcerer Lord and kills four Chaos Warriors. The organ gun shoots at my Chaos Knights and kills one, and they fail their panic test and flee. The anvil then casts Wrath of Ruin, the big version, but he only gets one unit, which he aims at my Chaos Knights, but they save all the wounds. The Grudge Thrower shoots at my Chaos Warrior with Sorcerer Lord and kills a further four Chaos Warriors, but they pass the panic test. And his Thunderers shoot at the same unit, but I fail to wound. Into my turn, and my well, turn three, and my Knights fail to rally and go back a further eight inches. The Warhounds charge the Dwarf Warriors, and then my Chaos Warriors with the Sorcerer Lord elect to charge the unit in front of them. However, he uses his Master Rune of Challenge from the unit uh, where my Warhounds charge, so I have to redirect, but I've failed. I then roll for the Winds of Magic, hoping for a better result, and I roll a 3. Yes, I roll a 3 again. So I fail to cast anything, and to make things worse, my cannon misfires, and I lose two handlers. So, really great. <laughs> then we go into the combat with the, the Warhounds. I didn't expect them to win, so of course they, they lose. Um, and two survive and they flee four inches right in front of my Nurgle Warriors. Oh, not a good turn three at all. Let's hope things get a bit better in turn four, that is for sure. Turn four, no movement from the dwarves again, so he starts shooting. His cannon fires at the Tzinch warriors, he hits one but fails to wound. The organ gun fires at the same unit and kills three Chaos Warriors. The Grudge Thrower th fires at the Chaos the, the Nurgle Chaos Warriors but misses. And the Anvil casts Wrath of Ruin on the Tzinch warriors but they save all the wounds. Then we go into my turn, my Knights Rally, my Warhounds Rally. Of course, the Warhounds are now blocking that Nurgle unit. Um, and my other Chaos Warrior, the Tzinch Warriors, they fail to charge. So things are not looking good at all. Magic, hoping for a better turn, I actually roll a 3 again. Yes, that's right, a 3. That's four. That's three turns in a row now. Unbelievable. I'm getting new dice. <laughs> um, so, yep, fail to cast anything. The cannon fires at the hammerers and kills seven of them, but they pass their leadership, uh, their panic test. And that is the end of turn four. Not So not much happened. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's looking a bit scary for me now. I, I really need to get in closer. But here we go into turn five. Okay, into turn five. It's a bit of a long one, so bear with me. Uh, the hammerers, they charge the, the, the Tzinch warriors. His longbeards fail to charge the Tzinch warriors, and his other warrior unit, they charge the same. Uh, they charge the Tzinch warriors, and they make it. He then goes into shooting, and he uses his anvil to cast Rune of Oath and Honor on his longbeards, and which gives them the free charge. So now they charge into the Tzinch warriors, and they make it. His cannon shoots at the war shrine and blows up. Woohoo! His organ gun shoots at the war shrine and it takes three wounds. The grudge, grudge thrower shoots at the war shrine, but the, sa the war shrine saves. And lastly, the thunderers shoot at the Nurgle warriors, but they make all their saves. We go into the combat, and my uh, exalted hero, the BSB, he challenges and the dwarves accept with the dwarf champion. Uh, the the Exalted Hero slaughters the Dwarf Champion and gets eye, uh, he, on the Eye of the Gods table he gets uh, Dark Fury which is plus one attack. The rest of the battle plays out and the Chaos Warriors they just get obliterated, they just get ripped to shreds and uh, 
so they of course fail their their leadership their break test and the chaos Sor sorcerer flees and of course the bsb drops his banners at the end of him the lucky thing about that happened though the chaos warrior the sorry the dwarf warriors failed to catch the the chaos sorcerer so he still lives and his dwarf warriors charged into the the war shrine then we go into to my turn um my chaos warriors they fail to charge the the thunderers and they thunderers kill three nurgle warriors uh the magic i get a seven but everything again is dispelled the cannon misses and we go into the combat with the war shrine and the longbeards and they just destroy the war shrine completely so that's the end of turn five uh so we can sort of see how the battle's going but let's play it out let's go on to turn six Turn six, the dwarves charge my rallied uh, sorcerer lord, and then he goes straight into shooting. He shoots his organ gun at my knights, but it misfires. The grudge thrower misses the knights, and the anvil of wrath and ruin kills one knight. The sorcerer uh, makes a challenge, my sorcerer lord, and his dwarf champion accepts. The sorcerer lord kills the dwarf champion, but he still loses due to the all the combat resolution. So. He then flees and gets caught by the Dwarf Warriors, and we go into Chaos Warrior turn 6. Turn 6, Chaos Warriors. The Knights charge the Longbeards, the Nurgle Warriors charge the Thunderers, and four Nurgle Warriors die from Stand and Shoot, and the Warhands charge the Grudge Thrower. No magic gets cast, and the cannon misfires and removes the rest of its handlers. In close combat, the... The Doom Knight challenges and the Longbeard Champion accepts. Um, the Doom Knight uh, slaughters the, the Longbeard Champion, however, due to combat resolution and all that, um, it was a draw, I'm pretty sure, or um, whoever lost passed their break test. We then go on to the Nurgle Warriors and they killed six Thunderers. So the Thunderers fled and they were caught by the Nurgle Warriors. And lastly, the Chaos Warhounds, they killed one Grudge Shower uh, crewman. So, and that was the end of turn six. Whoa. This is end of turn oh, six. Rare. It's very rare <laughs> on these battlefields. Yeah. <laughs> Which is uh, end of the game and you can hear by... <laughs> snaps cheers that he is he has defeated the Chaos Warriors. Uh, he's given them a, a right flogging. Three cheers to the dwarf brew. <laughs> Alrighty, end of the game. I hope you enjoy this battle report. See you later. <laughs>